Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today we're gonna to be talking chicken thighs. And I'm not doing your ordinary chicken thighs today. I've got something really special. These are gonna be a boneless, skinless chicken thigh that I stuffed with some jalapeno and cream cheese, season them real good with the dry rub, and in place of the skin, I've got some awesome Applewood Smoke Compart Family Farms bacon that we're gonna wrap around them. We're gonna be cooking these out on the smoker as always. I've got one of my trusty chicken pans here that's gonna make them just a beautiful shape. And these thighs make a great football food if you're, if you're tailgating or if you're wanting to have a party, watch the game. They're also great appetizers anytime. So we're gonna get started here, and this is what you're gonna need. First, you start with a pack of these boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, you don't have to trim them very much. Sometimes there's some excess skin on them, but I found these at my local grocery store, and you know I didn't do a whole lot to them. Uh, then you need some good bacon. We've got about a block of cream cheese here that I just cut up into slices. And then I've cut up about um, eight jalapeno peppers here. And I'm just gonna use a half in each chicken. But what you wanna do is take a spoon and rake out all the seeds and veins and milds that pepper up a lot so it takes some of that heat away. So the first thing we wanna do here is get our chicken thighs seasoned. And for that, I'm using my AP seasoning. But I'm just seasoning both sides with that salt and pepper and garlic. You know, you can put any kind of seasoning that you like on at this point. This all purpose is great on chicken. And it's gonna be wrapped up with that Compart Farms bacon anyway. It's gonna give it some great flavor, but we want something right on the chicken thigh itself. So we've got the thigh seasoned and I flipped them back over here where the inner meat parts up where the bone was. This is where I'm gonna take my jalapeno, Stuff it with a little cream cheese. I just took a block of cream cheese and cut it into strips there. All right, so I have all the pepper stuff and I like to get just a little rub right on top of that cream cheese just to give it a little extra flavor. And I use that cream cheese because it stands up to the heat and it won't melt and run out. If you use something like a cheddar or pepper jack or something like that, it'll melt in the high heat that we're gonna cook these in in the smoker and it'll run out and you won't have any cheese in that pepper. So now I'm just flipping these peppers over so that cream cheese is right up against the chicken meat. Now we can wrap around it and get our bacon wrapped. So now we've got it back to thigh shape. Now we want to get some skin on it. That's where this Compart bacon's coming in. Now you can use any bacon you want here, but I'm telling you, this Compart hogs, their heritage bred Duroc meat, it tastes awesome. So if you give them a shot, find them on their website, Compart Duroc. So here's how we're going to do the bacon wrap. I usually just take a piece of bacon and stretch it just a little bit to get some extra length out of it. Get the chicken in your hand and just kind of lap it over it. Now we need to come all the way around and make sure we kind of catch it and tuck that piece in. And then we're going to tuck this around and on the bottom side, we'll just overlap it a little bit. Make sure your pepper stays in there, but that's exactly how it should look right there. Now I'm going to knock the rest of these out real quick and we'll show you getting them in the pan. Okay, we've got all our chicken thighs wrapped with that Compart bacon. Now we're gonna show you how we're gonna cook them in a pan. Now this is one of the chicken pans that I use. I use this in competition a lot when we're doing chicken thighs because it holds the shape. What I've done is just sprayed it with the light coat of cooking spray so nothing sticks to it. Uh, we're gonna take each chicken thigh and drop it down in the pan, just like that. Now the bacon will stay on it as it cooks. It can't draw up, the chicken can't spread out. This pan is gonna hold its shape the whole cook. Now, if you don't have one of these chicken pans, you can use um, one of the small aluminum uh, food service pans. And um, what I've done, you know, if you pack them in there tight, they'll hold their shape. But you can also take toothpicks and, and poke through them to get that thigh and that bacon to stay on. But if you use a pan like this, you don't have to worry about that. It's, it has nowhere to go. So I wanna season the tops of these with some barbecue rub. And I'm using my barbecue rub. At this point, you can use whatever you like. But we're gonna season them again when they come out of the, of the pan so we can really get it on all sides. This is kind of just like the first little initial seasoning. And I'm gonna to top each one of these chicken thighs with a pat of butter. That's gonna melt down. It's gonna mix with that bacon fat as the bacon cooks. Really gives some great flavor on these thighs. All right, we've got the thighs in our chicken pan. I've got the egg firing up outside. Now I'm gonna cook these um, chicken thighs today, about 275 to 300 degrees, right in that range. It's gonna take you know roughly two hours for the whole cook. 
the first part of the cook, we're gonna get them in some pecan smoke and we're gonna let them just hang out. You don't have to do anything to them, just maintain your temp. So whatever kind of grill you're cooking on, shoot for that 275 to 300 mark. You really don't need it any hotter than 300 and hold it there. Now about halfway in, we're gonna take and cover this chicken pan up with aluminum foil so we can really you know, trap some of that heat in there on them, really get those thighs tender. They're gonna be cooking in that bacon fat and that butter, it's gonna make them great. So once we hit about 165, 170 internal in the thighs, I wanna get them out of the pan, season them with rub on the outside and put them back out there on a rack and just let them dry out for about five minutes. Then we're gonna glaze them in our barbecue sauce set that sauce on them, make sure that internal temperature is hitting 175, and they're gonna be done. So the cooking process is pretty easy. We'll go outside, get the grill ready. We're gonna show you how we're gonna put these on in just a second. Stick around. All right, so I've got the egg fired up. We're sitting you know, right under 300 degrees. Got a little bit of pecan wood on there, so we're getting a little smoke. I'm just gonna get the lid closed, and we're gonna let this cook. Uh, about 45 minutes, I'll check on it. I know it's gonna take 45 minutes to an hour before I need to wrap them with foil. So come back and we'll show you what they look like at that stage. We're gonna cover it up with foil. All right, you can see the egg sitting right at 300 degrees and that's okay with this chicken in the pan. That's right where I want it. Make that bacon render. It's been 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up and we'll see what we're working with. We're starting to get some good color. The bacon's getting brown. You can see that the butter and the bacon fat mixed and bubbly. Now we're gonna get it tender. So I'm gonna get a piece of foil here and just cover up our pan. All right, it's been about 25 minutes. I just wanted to check a few of these with my thermal pen. Um, yeah, they're hitting like 165, 170. I know they're right where we want them. So I'm gonna get these off now. We're gonna take them inside, get them out of the pan. So let's get them off here and take them back inside. And be very careful. Use some gloves with some liners underneath it, something, because this pan's very hot. So I'm just gonna get the thighs out of the butter now. This gets them out of the butter slows them down. We still need a few more degrees on them, but we're gonna get that because we're gonna put them back out here. We're just gonna re-season with some dry rub. That's really gonna give them some great color. So now I just hit the tops of the thighs with some of the Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. At this point, hey, use whatever rub you like. I like this on them and it does real well for us. So I'm gonna get the bottoms, season on the sides. We'll put this back out on the egg there just for, you know, about 10 minutes is all it takes at this point. We're just really trying to set this rub before we glaze them. We still got our egg on 300 degrees. That's right where we want it. We're going right back on the grill. Just set the racking all down. We need about 10 minutes is all to set this rub. Then we're going to glaze them. So get the lid closed. Let it cook for about 10 minutes. Show you what it looks like when we glaze. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. That rub is set just like we wanted. It's got some great color. Now it's time to glaze these chicken thighs. So I'm gonna take them inside. Just drop them down a little pan where we can carry them inside. Okay, we're back inside ready to glaze these chicken thighs that have just come off. And what I have is I took some uh, barbecue sauce, just Killer Hogs barbecue sauce straight out of the bottle. Got it really hot and poured it in this dish. Uh, you can use whatever sauce you want at this point. I mean, I like the Killer Hog sauce, of course. It's my sauce, and it does well for us in comps. Makes a beautiful glaze on me. And we'll just, just gently pick the thigh up, give it a quick dunk in the warm sauce, and set it back down. And you want to use gloves with liners because, you know, it had the sauce pretty warm. When you warm it up, you can use a small pot or just, you know, pop it in the microwave if you want to. Whatever it takes to get that sauce good and hot. But you want it hot so it runs off, so it doesn't get real thick on top of the thigh. And then I've still got it in a rack, in the same rack sitting in the pan so it can drain. Then we're ready to go right back on the smoker. So these thighs are now ready to go back outside. I'm gonna take them back outside. They only need about five to seven minutes. Just long enough for the uh, glaze to sit a little, but they're, they're already reached the dumbest point. We're good to go. We're gonna set this glaze real fast. Still at those same tips between 275 and 300. Let's get them outside. All right, our chicken's been glazing for about seven, eight minutes here on the egg, and that's all I wanted to do. The sauce kind of looks sticky. I don't want it to risk burning, so that's what I want to go ahead and get it off. It's still got some good heat on it. So we're gonna take it inside at this point. All right, so we've got these 
jalapeno and cream cheese stuffed boneless skinless chicken thighs wrapped in compart bacon all ready to go man doesn't that sound great so now we let them rest just about 10 minutes all i can take here and i wanted to cut into one and show you what they look like on the inside so let me let me find let me find one of these here let's cut it right down the middle can you see that that's a pretty cool shot you can see the pepper you can see the cream cheese and the chicken thighs all the way done man i know that's going to be some good eats i'm going to take a bite of one on the back side here First thing I get, you know, is that jalapeno note coming through, but it's not hot. Then the creaminess from the, the cheese. Chicken tastes great. And that bacon at the end finish with that sweet sauce glaze. The next time you're cooking for the big game or, or you got a tailgate going on, give these bacon wrapped jalapeno chicken poppers a try. They're excellent. They're easy to do with a little prep. They don't take no time at all to cook. Thanks for checking out How to Barbecue Right today. Subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. We're going to be putting out videos all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.